Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So I have a brand new mini handbag. Here it is. This is what we're going to be making today or a version of it. And you may recognize this shape because it perfectly matches a previous bag from one of my other collections. Now this one is the luxury handbag gift box die set. And here is the die here. You may remember that one from last year. Well, for this one, we have its little baby sister isn't it really stinky it's just so cute so this is the handbags by design die set and it also coordinates with this um new embossing folder as well this is the mock croc one and we're going to be doing some inking on this one and this here will also work on the larger version of the handbag so i'll make sure this one is also listed down below as well but for this one this is the die set here as you can see it's going to run through a standard sized uh, die cutting machine so if you have an ordinary big shot that is going to fit through there and um, you're going to need to cut two of the main pieces here two of the sides one of the uh, the lid the flap thing here and two of the handle and here we have some accents here so this little l shape is going to fit onto that section there and you can decorate it however you wish right so let's pop that aside i've got everything cut out already and i've got my glue gun heating up just off to the side as well because you're going to be needing those for the flaps so let's take this off i could think of so many other things this is going to work with as well i have loads of bags in my collection this will work with the doctor's bag the doctor's bag is now back in stock as well okay so what whoop, make a mess there right what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of the um distress ink in vintage photo and i'm just going to run it across which what section am i going to do it in just feeling those sections there is it going to be this side i always forget okay so it's the side that's not printed so just run your pad over the top and then what I'm going to do is just lay down the first lot of pieces just like that and I will have to run this one through separately Okay, so I've already folded all of these skull lines before I placed it through with the embossing folder. So I'm just reinforcing all of those lines again. And then we are going to glue this bag together. So there is a certain order you need to put this bag together in and it goes together just like that. And then we add the lid. It can go to this side or that side. You can decide which front you want. I'm gonna quickly use glue for this. Okay, you should have something that now looks like this. It's still boxy. It hasn't got its special shape yet. Okay, this is where the magic happens. So we have these darts here, just like in dresses, we have some darts here. So just carefully 
fold those back it doesn't have to be folded perfectly so just add a little bit of glue just to the dart there and then just fold it in and then hold that in place you do need to kind of just hold it there just for a few seconds while the glue um, cools down and you definitely need a hot glue gun to do this And there we have our dart. So do the same on the other three. Okay, for the next step we're going to be doing the base now to glue that down. So just tuck in your little side flaps onto the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dob of glue just to the centre of that uh, flap. Same there. And then I'm going to add some glue along the bottom line there. And that should be enough to seal the bag shut. You do kind of have to be quick with this because we're working with hot glue and it does have a tendency to cool down before you get to use it if you're not fast enough so give that a good press this is your chance now to quickly squidge everything into the right shape I'm happy with that and then get your hand in there or a ruler and then press that down and that is the base done so this is now going to go over to the side so I have this in the opposite orientation to this bag because I flipped it over and I used the other side so you can actually do that if you fancy your um, offset corner going the other way now I'm just going to grab myself a velcro dot and um, I have them in my drawer just here that's all I have left I started off with a hundred so I am going to cut them in half I'm just going to use one of those this can go in back in with the other lot and I will use that no doubt on another bag very soon okay so handle I haven't put this through I'm not too sure if it would survive the embossing folder because it's so small so I'm just going to add this on just like that and we have some um, score lines just here as well to fit through those little holes so first I need to glue these two together it's just going to give it some extra strength Okay, so while that is drying, let's get our Velcro sorted out. So take off one of your backings. Okay, pop that into the top corner, just like that. Press it down nicely. Now remove that piece and then line up these corners either side to help you make sure that your bag is in the right position for your velcro press that down if you press down really hard you'll squash your bag so carefully lift that up hold it down with your other nail thumbnail there just to keep it in place right now give that a really good pressing and the same with the bottom one as well press that down really nicely okay so now they're both adhered to each side nicely there we go and that is going to lift up just like that right so let's put the um the handle on grab yourself a bone folder so decide which side you want 
gonna have that side so fold them upwards just like that and then I'm going to whoops drop it I'm gonna give it a gentle curl there we go that just helps to stop any sort of creases forming if you were just trying to bend it okay so these are going to fit through here through the hole and we're going to glue it just on the other side so I'm going to use hot glue for this because it's nice and quick glue came through there we can get rid of that nicely okay so that is the handle put on let's pop this together and again this is going to look really nice if you use the embossing folder with um, a metallic cardstock it's going to look really nice and you don't even have to add any extra inking for that either to bring out the detail okay so I just need to add some of my some of my finishing finish ugh, I can't talk today I just need to add some of my finishing touches here and um, you can pop this just on there like so and then we have the little L shape here we can pop on there you can add flowers you can really decorate this to match your hats as well so that is the tiny little handbag handbag by design I hope you like this one I just think it's so cute if you can imagine this as a table setting as well one on every plate and decorated to the theme of your choice I think that's going to look absolutely beautiful so thank you very much for joining me today if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon